All right, so you know how it is. We've been here before. Remember the house where the plumber poured the concrete down the drain? We're back again. Well, I wanted to do something special for this customer. So what I decided to do is actually install an American Standard new toilet with a bidet toilet seat. So that's what we're gonna do today. So today what we're doing, first of all, we're gonna remove this toilet. We're gonna install a new toilet and a bidet toilet seat. We had the electrician come install an electrical outlet for us. So the first thing we've gotta do is shut off the water, drain this toilet down and remove it. So that's where we're gonna get started. So here I am, sitting on the toilet. That's, well, that's why I spent a lot of my life anyway. Well, around toilets, maybe not sitting on it. But as you can see, we have the American Standard Bidet Toilet Seat, the Advanced Clean 2.5. Now, I'll tell you what, I've got one of these at home, I love it. 
what I'm gonna tell you though is we're gonna install this today. Remember the house that the plumber, the previous plumber poured concrete down the sewer? Well, that's where we're at. And we knew that whenever we did this job, we wanted to do something special for her. So we actually got with Cody, the general contractor, and said, hey Cody, look, can you install an electrical outlet down by the toilet? We knew what we wanted to do. So we've come back now. She doesn't even know we're here. We're coming in, we're gonna install this new American Standard Comfort High Elongated Toilet and the American Standard Advanced Clean 2.5 bidet toilet seat. So let's get this thing cut open and let's get it going. So what I've done is I've put the tank and bowl gasket on. As you can see, we tightened up the toilet bolts on each side so it's not wobbling. Now we'll check it again before we leave, but normally once you get that bowl secure, it's not gonna go anywhere. So what we've done now is we've put the tank to bowl gasket on, push the bolts down, that way we know that we can get the nuts on from underneath. And I love the way American Standard installs these with these washers in here that actually come through and kind of help lock in place. One thing I always like to do is check my fill valve to make sure everything's tight here. That way I know that there's not gonna be a leak.
Now, I love the way that these seats actually attach. These big rubber washers actually go down in here so they don't come out very easy. And I love that. So what I'm gonna do is get them lined up where I want them, the screw in the bottom of it. What that does is that grabs a hold of it. Now what you need to do is you need to pull it down into the hole. You wanna pull it where it sticks though, where it doesn't go all the way through. Now I can take that screw back out because that's what will go in from above. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the water line. The reason being, I wanna do it before I get the seat down in here. So this is actually the water line. And this is the connection that connects back at the fill valve. So what I'll do is stick the washer in here, secure this up, then connect my water line to the bottom of this. And this actually hooks up to the seat. Now what I'm gonna actually do, I'm gonna slide the latch on this seat back onto the bracket that I've already set. Now, I tried setting it in the middle both ways. I can look at it once I set it. And actually, I got really good. I'm actually about a quarter inch off the tank. I actually set this really good on adjustment wise. You want it back as far as it can go towards the tank, but you also want the lid to be able to stay up. That way if a guy comes to use the toilet, it doesn't wanna sit on a bidet toilet seat. He's actually got an open shot. So now I'm gonna come over here and hook this water line up. So guys, as you can see, it's not real hard to install a bidet toilet seat. Thanks to the people at American Standard for giving us the toilet and the toilet seat to try it. I've got to tell you what, I have the previous version of this bidet toilet seat at home. Mine doesn't have a light or a blow dryer. I got to tell you, I love this thing. And if you're not following us on Instagram, you need to be. You'll only see more about toilets like this. And I'll see you in the next video if you're not on a bidet toilet seat.